Welcome back to the Lumios Post, where we talk about all things Pokemon, and today we're going to be talking about the northeast part of the Paldea map. Not the part that you can visit, but the part that is grayed out on the map, uh, and, you know, we can't visit, and seemingly we won't visit, because we know that the Blueberry Academy is in the middle of the ocean, so that isn't it, and then we learned that Kitakami is not that place, which, you know, was something that I had speculated it would be, but, you know, there, there was some debate on if it would be that way. I mean, after all, the northeast part of Paldea is very Japanese in vibe, so it's not too crazy to believe that just on the other side of those mountains could be the land of Kitakami, since it is also Japanese in vibes. But, again, we know this is not the case now, so that kind of leaves us with the question of what this place is, and specifically why they even did this. Like, you know, it seems strange that they would even make a point to gray out a part of this map. Like, even if you look at Kitakami's map, you can see areas in Kitakami that are not accessible, but they don't gray it out on the map. They just kind of have, like, this darker shade over it, and if you were to go there, you can't actually go into those areas. So why did they do this differently with Paldea? Well, I think... For one, it's because this is a pretty big section here, this grayed out section, and it's only in one part, not the borders of Paldea like it is with Kitakami. So I think that, you know, they were never going to detail the land there because then that would have just amped up more speculation that we would be visiting that area in DLC, right? So I get why they did that. Now, I think the whole purpose of this, though, What's just to illustrate that Paldea is not an island? You know, Paldea is a very tropical environment. So, you know, if you're not super familiar with real world geography, you might would assume this is some kind of island. And also, to be frank with you, you know, even if you are familiar with real world geography, you know, the Pokemon world doesn't have to be one to one to it. We have not really a ton of evidence that Pokemon's geography is one to one. That Paldea is connected to Kalos, which is, you know, just across a little small uh, bit of the ocean from Galar, and right across the Pokemon equivalent of the Atlantic Ocean is the Unova region. You know, we don't know that that is how the Pokemon world functions. I do believe it is, though, just because of them implementing things like time zones to show that there's a pretty big distance between Kitakami and Paldea, and also for things like Kanto and Johto being connected, Sinnoh being... Uh, uh, not too far above them with a little bit of area in between Kanto and Johto and Sinnoh, which all does line up with the real world. Now, the flip side of that is that you can make the argument, okay, but the Galar region is the UK flipped upside down. The Crown Tundra is based off of Scotland, which is in the northern part of the UK, and yet the Crown Tundra is in the southern part of the Galar region. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a little strange, right? But yeah, I think that this whole grayed out area is just to show that Paldea is connected to something else up there. So the questions remain, you know, what is that area and will we ever visit it? And for what that area is, again, I am a believer that geography is one-to-one -one in Pokemon World or, you know, pretty close to it, like in the sense that Paldea, which is based off the Iberian Peninsula, is connected to the region that's based off of France, which is going to be, you know, across from Gal you know, I, I do firmly believe that. But I don't believe that this is the Kalos region right there. I think that this is the South Kalos region. If you play through the Kalos games, it's actually really only built on, like, the northern part of France. It doesn't have much southern France in it. And they even make a point to when you visit Kalud City, which you can visit to in the post game of XMY, they make a point to say that this is like the gateway to South Kalos. Like this is like kind of the first area of South Kalos. Well, you don't get to visit other areas of South Kalos. So I'm under the impression that, you know, there's a larger region there, you know, maybe we'll visit it one day. Honestly, probably not. Uh, at least not anytime soon, maybe in like X and Y remakes or a Legends X and Y game, some kind of Kalos related game, maybe we would. But until then, I think that this area will kind of just be like Senjo, where like we know it exists, but we don't really get to see too much of it. You know, where Senjo, we just see the Senjo ruins, and with South Kalos, we just see Kalud City. You can also kind of line up Kalos with uh, the 
top part of northern Paldea and go, well, these are both very mountainous areas. And if you look at Kalos's southern portion of its map, it starts to get a to like a very mountainous geography. So I imagine that the South Kalos region has a lot, at least in the south uh, western side, a lot of mountains and all that, which does make sense because that lines up with like the real world Pyrenees mountains. But yeah, I do think that that's South Kalos there. And I even think that Game Freak has kind of told us that that's South Kalos there. When you go to that northeast part of Paldea, there will be these three trainers, they're dragon tamers, and they are situated around these islands with uh, these watchtowers up in that northeastern part. And when you challenge them, they will say like, I am the dragon's breath, I am the dragon something else, I am the dragon something else, I don't remember exactly. But they all use one Pokemon each, and obviously they're dragon type Pokemon. One uses a Noivern, one uses a Dragalge, and one uses a Gudra. Now, this is a big deal because, you know, that means that these trainers are using Kalos Dragons. And I think that this was Game Freak's sly way of going, hey, you know, we're really close to the Kalos region. In fact, these are the only Kalos Dragons with the exception of Tyrantrum and Zygarde, one of which is a legendary Pokemon, and the other one is not available in Scarlet and Violet. So it makes sense why there's not a trainer using a Tyrantrum here. And instead, they're using the Kalos Dragons that are available. But, I mean, man, there's so many Dragon types in Scarlet and Violet. I mean, you have Dragonite, and you can even find a bunch of Wild Dratini there. You have Cyclozar, Tatsugiri. You have all kinds of Dragon types, both returning and new. So the fact that they said, okay, we're going to give this one Gudra this one Noivern, this one Dragalge. That's just, that's too big of a coincidence for me. You could also make the argument that uh, Roaring Moon, its kind of connections to Mega Evolution could be a sign that we are not too, too far from a region that uh, has pretty common access to Mega Evolution, which, you know, those regions really are only Hoenn and Kalos. I know that Mega Evolution has been seen in the Kanto and the Alola regions, but I would argue they're not as uh, prominent in those regions. Like, it's you kind of get access to Mega Evolution in those regions sort of by chance, right? Like, in the Alola region, you only get it because you were given a keystone by the trainers who visit from the Kalos region. And then for Red and Blue, or Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, excuse me, the remakes of Pokemon Yellow you get Mega Evolution only from Oak, and it's just, you know, kind of because you're special, or maybe it's Gary slash Blue, I don't know. But you, you're you kind of, again, it's very exclusive in those regions, whereas in Kalos, it is much more prominent. It's a part of their culture. In the home region, it is very prominent. It's a big part of their culture. So it makes sense to me that this would imply that we are somewhere near that for a Pokemon to have this connection to Mega Evolution. In fact, there's a theory about Paradox Pokemon that they are all from the imagination of someone, and you have to think if that's true, then they would probably be from the imaginations of the people that first explored Area Zero, as they were the first people to see a Paradox Pokemon in Great Tusk or Iron Treads, and it makes sense that these are all explorers and this is a long time ago, so it's kind of before Mega Evolution is widely used by trainers. Instead, they've only kind of heard tales of it. Maybe if they visited the neighboring Kalos or Southern Kalos region, they've witnessed it themselves. But either way, it's easy to think, like, they would think of these Mega Evolutions as very rare, very monstrous, very uh, just obscure Pokemon and would imagine that up. But of course, that's only if that theory is true. If that theory isn't true, though, I'd say, you know, it, again, it makes sense that whatever Roaring Moon's connection to Mega Evolution is, well, it, it makes sense that it will be right near a region that would get access to Mega Evolution. But again, I do not think that we will be visiting this area anytime soon. I just wanted to touch on it now that Kitakami is confirmed to not be that area. I wanted to touch on it again and just talk about it, what I thought it would be. Uh, I would love a Southern Kalos game someday. I will be honest, I doubt that there's many, you know, thinking realistically, if they make a Southern Kalos game, a game dedicated to just Southern Kalos, there'll be plenty of new Pokemon and all that, but just thinking realistically, I imagine that there wouldn't be many new Pokemon, but there'd probably be a mix of both Kalos Pokemon and Paldean Pokemon there, you know, like, while being able to still find plenty of common uh, Paldea or Kalos Pokemon like Go Goat and Pangoro, you also would probably find some uh, Paldea Pokemon too, especially ones found in that northeast area like 
uh, low kicks, for example, and spy dops. Be sure to let me know what you think of this. Do you think that now that we know it's not Kitakami, that North east area is indeed south kalos or are you convinced that's something else and are you convinced that we're going to see it someday let me know in the comments below be sure to like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss all of our future videos and until next time i'll see all of you later